Drag Eye Shay here, Uneven Bounce will be guys as well. So today some comments came out in the media from Mark Boucher doing his um pre-series press conference for the upcoming yeah, England tour. Uh, England arrived in SA, uh, ready for yeah, these sort of coming six matches. But anyway, uh, I want to touch upon his comments regarding the Black Lives Matter movement and the fact that South Africa will not be taking a knee or even wearing an armband in relation to the BLM movement. Um, they'll be wearing a black arm armband potentially uh, with regards to the people who die from COVID-19 and um, based on gender-based violence. Now, I want to call that as bullshit because I think it's an absolute disgrace, to be honest. You know, South Africa have a, a long, deep-seated history of, obviously, racial inequality. Um, what was cited was the fact that, you know, uh, things have been done from by South Africa um, and that people like Lungi Ngidi, who led the, um, really the, um, the chorus of, um, outrage and what's happened to black people in South African history and obviously wanted to see South Africa and CSA in general just kind of make a uh, stance against um, you know basically racial um, injustice against black people um, obviously uh, the three TC tournaments which no one really give a shit about and really watched um, they took a knee there um, Matt Bouch was not there he, he was sick with COVID so the head coach um, has not taken a knee publicly first of all um south africa uh, have not taken a knee uh, to really acknowledge properly the blm movement um as well which is i think pretty pretty appalling no one gives a shit about the free tc tournaments no one really watched it no one cares about it it was a gimmicky idea that was led by uh Franco pinar mark boucher graham smith and that um guy who owns that bank i can't remember his name harris something so the three TC, you know, to, to cite that as um, you know, as um, an opportunity for them to showcase really their position in in the matter, I think it's pretty down appalling. Um, this is the first obviously major home series that South Africa are having uh, since um, this PLF movement came into effect. Really, obviously post George Floyd and that which obviously occurred in May was at May twenty first. So it's been six months. Um, you cannot simply. Go off what happened at the 3TC tournament. This this uh, series against against England will be um, televised around the world. It's a huge series, obviously, against the reigning ODI champions, and uh, one of the best T20 sides in the world as well. Um, it's a real time for them to make a stand, especially Mark Boucher. I, I find it quite hard to accept because Mark Boucher wasn't even there at the 3TC tournament. He was sick, obviously. Now, I understand that he's not the person who can necessarily make the call, but I'm sure, as head coach, um, he's got a fairly large say in the matter. So he could, you know, he could, I think, reasonably um, push, the, push the, the matter, push the issue, and have, um, you know, South Africa uh, take a knee. Just acknowledge it um, properly. You know, if it was an, even as an armband with regards to the BLM movement, I can accept that. Obviously, he's, he's kind of blaming the president, doesn't he? He's like, it's president's call. I mean, I have a look here now. Um, he was saying, uh, open quotes, there are a couple of other issues that our president has raised going forward with regards to gender-based violence and the victims of COVID-19. We're going to be addressing this with the team, so there's a, if there is a black armband to wear, we will probably be wearing it because of the president's call. Okay, so not because you want to actually wear and don the black armband because of COVID-19 and gender-based violence, it's because it's the president's call. So if it wasn't for the president's call, then nothing would happen. Like I said, it's the first real high-profile series, and it's a major series, this, for South Africa. You haven't played cricket, competitive cricket, in eight months, um, and it's a real opportunity that's been missed. I think it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty appalling, to be honest. Um, and I, I feel a lot more can be done. I just go back to the history of that country, and if you know a bit better about it, I'm no scholar, I'm no historian. I think you guys know that my family's from there, born and raised from there. I've got generations back to the 1800s in South Africa. I'm born and raised here, but my parents and grandparents, great grandparents, all from there. So, um, you know, my family's from there, my wife is from there. Uh, obviously, I've got a lot of family there still as well. So, I do uh, feel quite connected to this issue um, about racial violence in South Africa and I feel like South Africa of, of all countries of all countries you know after what what's the history that the country's gone through really could have made a stand here it, I feel like they are more you know they are more in a position to make a, a, a you know a worldwide global stance on this 
um, from a sporting perspective. I mean, then other countries in in um, in international cricket. I mean, Australia are doing that. Obviously, they've got a history as well of a uh, racial equality against Aboriginal people, and they they're doing that. Apparently, um, they're going to be doing a, a circle in barefoot before every series to acknowledge Aboriginal people. Um, England have obviously with the Premier League football they're still taking a knee uh, England did it as well in the series against West Indies and Pakistan uh, didn't do it against um, Ireland and Australia or was it oh, I confused I would definitely West Indies obviously but I can't remember if it was Ireland or Australia Australia didn't do it but was it Pakistan or was it the Pakistan or Ireland that didn't do it but there was two series they did do it in fact it's actually, it's actually here um, so it's just a, for clarity I will just quickly run through this and just check. Um, sorry, but yeah, let me just quickly check because it's important. Um, yeah, so they uh, they did it. Sorry, yeah, yeah. So not against Pakistan, Australia. So it was against Ireland and West Indies. They 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 took the knee. So yeah, um, I just uh, yeah, I just I just think it's really it's really poor. And I think just um, it just it just really gets me quite pissed off to be honest. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, what is your thoughts on it? Do you feel like I'm being you kind of oversensitive on the matter? I'm just kind of overreacting. You know, it's the BLM movement's kind of um, it's lost its sting, it's dissipated a little bit. You know, do you feel like it's you know the the three TC kind of gesture um, is enough for South Africa to, to say well we've done our part now and we can move on? You, you tell me. Uh, let me know your thoughts. If you like the content, please, you know, as I always say, like the video, uh, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you on the next one. Cheers.